Hi guys, um, I'm back. Um, um, it's Royal Sonic 799, and I am back, and we're in finally in HD. Yay! Um, so I came back to you guys with a hair challenge that I'm doing. Um, I'm one day in technically because I did it last night, but I'll just do the introduction of it today, and that is the tightly curly um, method, or TC method. Um, it was created by a young lady named Terry LaFleche, and she wrote a book called Curly Like Me, which I'll insert a picture of right here. And it's a book basically on her hair journey and how when she was younger, she's a mi she's mixed. Um, let's just say now she's black and white, but she's not the traditional black and white. Her dad is white and her mom is black. Oh, see, with that stereotype that all black men were white women, it's reversed, honey. Let me stop now. Um, so she talks about her hair journey and how she went from being permed in the 80s to relax to natural, to just like dry, to process hair, to color, to weave, to extensions, to braids. And the technique that she found that worked for her and a majority of her other friends who had curlier hair. Um, based on the texture that she has in her book, um, on the pictures of her, um, on the cover of her book as well, she has, to me, what I believe looks like a 3C to a 4A. But... I have a much tighter texture than her and it works on me. Um, the routine consists of, what she does, routine consists of three main things and then it's styling. It's four main things if you include styling. It's washing your hair, it's conditioning your hair, and with the condition, the conditioner is a big part because the conditioner actually acts as your main styling product. Once you smooth the conditioner in your hair and you define it with the number four, a denim, number three, a denim brush you use to define your hair with the conditioner still in your hair. And then styling, she, the look that a lot of people do with it is um, they'll just define their hair and it's like a wash and go-esque look. I like it because it's a wash and go with a lot less single strand knots and better curl definition without using gel. Or she, she um, in her book, she does buns and ponytails, twist outs, braid outs, bantu knot outs with no other product other than her conditioner. Now she does say she uses a styling mud or a um, texture cream or what is it, um, like a holding putty along her hairline because she feels she has a low hairline and so she pushes it off her face. But that's, she only uses it on her hairline. She doesn't use it on the ends or anything. Um... And it's helped her. I mean, her hair is down to what it's down to. I believe, like, her, le when she wrote the book, it was down to her belly button, but I'm pretty sure it's much longer now. Um, some things that I don't believe about it. She says, well, using this method, you won't run across any damage, so you won't have to trim your hair. Yeah, damage happens naturally <laughs> to me. So I believe that that's one of the things that I don't believe be true. Maybe with her, maybe like the ends just break off or something. Something, something, okay? She has healthy hair. I ain't jealous. I ain't a hater. But I just believe that, yeah, even my hair grew down to my butt, which it never will. And I'll tell you that in a different video. Um, that I believe that damage is still there. Even with less breakage or whatever, it needs to come off. And also, I believe that um, she uses that. And then her main tool is a Denman or a Denman style brush with the nine pins and a handle and a rubber base. A lot of naturals, especially ones I watch on YouTube, seem to run away from the Denman like it's Freddy Krueger with a knife running after you. Um, it, I don't mind a Denman. From my personal experience, my hair needs at least this length, which is... Um, ear length or more before, a, e even when my hair was longer, it was, um, chin length to, like, bottom of my neck length, and a Denman worked fabulous. I would use it to distribute product. A Denman worked for me, but when my hair's shorter, it, I just tend to get a puff ball. This is just shrinkage, which I tell you again, I don't mind. I don't know why naturals hate, sh well, a lot of naturals don't like shrinkage. I really don't mind it. 
And so my hair just kind of shrunk up in these cute little bits. Of, if I would rather have length or curl definition, I'm taking curl definition because I don't mind a lot of shrinkage. Shrinkage actually makes my hair less, um, more manageable because I feel like I'm not always dealing with it. So I'm okay with it. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do this challenge for three months. So yesterday was July the... 4th of July was Thursday. And yesterday was Saturday. So 4th, Friday's the 5th. Um, Saturday's the 6th. So yesterday was the 6th of July. So from the 6th of July until... So it's July... August... September, October. So we're going to do three months. So October the 3rd, I will report, I will um, come back with another video and I'll probably do like weekly updates or something cute like that about what I think about it and how it's helping me with everything. I might try to do different styles. Might be in the key phrase. Y'all know I don't do no twist outs or braid outs a wash and go. I might do some cornrows or something, but I'm still going to take it out at the end of the week and wash it, like, stuff like that, but I, I just can't. I'm not a big fan of, like, super uber styles. I might, I might, and this is just because I have a YouTube channel and I love all the guys who watch my video, maybe not, um, please remember to subscribe, please, um, who, um, watch my videos, I may try to do a twist out. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll do a braid out my hair at this length because, like, the braiding will be way too tedious. But you never know, you never know. I may. Now, the one that I really, really want to try, because I thought looked cute on a page, um, a recent YouTuber who I just re um, subscribed to was O Curls Natural. And I'll put her, um, li a link to her channel in the description box. And right here, right here, somewhere here, here, here. Should be right here. A link to her channel will be right here. And she did these bantu knots, and they were so cute. And then she undid them, and she's the, she did a tightly curly challenge too. That's why it inspired me to do this. She's doing what she did one as well, and so I'm doing it. And she undid the bantus, and she pull, and she like fingered it, and she like just took it apart, and she had like these beautiful, this beautiful fro slash slight curl definition, like the ends were kind of there, but the rest was like a big puff. I was jealous. I was like. I want that hair. <laughs> so, I'm going to probably um, do that if I can, if I find the patience or the time. But um, Or I might just do a chubby twist up, which is like me taking huge chunks of the hair, twisting them, letting them dry overnight, and dealing with it, honey. So, um, yeah, and one last thing. Um... One of my friends from school, I go to community college, CCBC, he recently started a YouTube page as well, and I want you to go visit him. His name is Philip, but he goes by, G on YouTube, he goes by Jigsaw6997. A link will for, to his channel will be in the description box, as well as right here. Description will be right here. And check him out. He does a lot of funny videos. He just uploaded today the Red Bull and Milk Challenge. The first video he did was the Cinnamon Challenge. Another one he did was Diet Men um, Diet Pepsi and Mentos. And he also did one about going Super Saiyan. He's just hilarious and he's a really funny guy. I met him because we took English 101 together. So you will love his videos if you love comedy. So um, until next time, guys, I'll see you. Peace. <laughs>